Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Freaks Info. Today, let's see how a connecting rod, piston, and a gudgeon pin are assembled together. So, the piston and the connecting rod will be assembled with the help of uh, the gudgeon pin, and the gudgeon pin will be locked to the slot of the piston with the help of a circlip. So, you can see all these processes in this particular video and learn it. So, watch the entire video. So uh, you can see uh, the connecting rod over there, which has a bigger diameter at one end and a smaller diameter at the other end. So the bigger diameter, that's called the big end of the connecting rod, which will actually be connected towards the crankshaft. And the smaller end will be actually aligned with the piston and it gets locked onto the gudgeon pin. So you can see the gudgeon pin that I have inserted into the piston slot over there. So that's the gudgeon pin and how it looks like. Now we'll align uh, the uh, connecting rod, that's the small end of the connecting rod with the gudgeon pin so that it can be locked towards the piston. So let's take uh, the connecting rod over there. We're keeping it and just aligning it with the help of uh, the gudgeon pin and it's been locked. Now what we do is we need to lock the gudgeon pin. So we use a circlip to do that. So one end of the gudgeon pin is already locked with the circlip. So we'll be doing locking the other end. So that's the circlip how it looks like. One side is open which has two holes over there which is used to uh, press it with a circlip player so that it can be assembled and to the other end you can see the diameter is increasing it has more thickness so this change in dimension actually helps to lock uh, this circlip into the slot when it has been pressed and released we can see it uh, how it has been done so that's where we will be inserting uh, the circlip into with the help of the circlip player so the circlip player will be aligned to both the holes over there and we'll press it so that the diameter reduces and insert it into the slot and once it is inserted we release it so when we release it it expands and locks all of them so that's how the gudgeon pin gets locked we can see it from another angle so see that i'm uh, aligning it again tightening the circlip and leaving it so that's how the gudgeon pin is locked uh, so that's how it's done please click the subscribe button for getting more technical video updates you can visit the website uh, techfrictionfo.com and please don't forget to like comment share to motivate our team and i definitely request you to subscribe uh, for more updates thanks for watching this video have a great day